Norton, what a pass. Mooney was able to get on the right or the wrong side, depending on what team you support, of Daniel Johnson. And Mitch Norton was able to put it right on the butt. He's having a nice year. Fell a little bit out of the rotation in the last six or so weeks. Great pass inside. Blanchfield from Mooney. But McVay continues to do, regardless of how many minutes he gets. And been good at the Adelaide 36, but not as good as I thought he was going to be. Do you re-sign him? Oh, what a pass. Norton, fingertip almost. The moment he got it, the moment he released it. Bullock gets a running start on Dylan. Steps back. Gives a little hesitation. Great little left hand move. Right beats the buzzer. And this is how deep this Perth Wildcats team. And he, it's a combination, a bit more run through him, and perhaps he needs to take matters into his own, own hands a little more. Kevin White back in Adelaide. Did not hit a field goal in the last five minutes of that opening quarter. And Steinl jacks up another three and makes it a game-high seven-point lead. But full credit to the Wildcats. They're running their second unit here. Case and life's a lot easier, Drury, when you uh, play your second unit and they're this deep. They know the system so particularly well and you're able to knock it down. Not only do you rest the starters and the stars and the superstars and Bryce Cotton not even playing. But it takes a while. When you are, when it is such a system orientated offense, you've got to figure out where you fit in. Wagstaff right back at ya. It's got seven. But well, they're throwing it around the Perth, their, their uh, lineups around the Perth Wildcats. There's a sloppy pass by Brandon Paul. That's just looked almost a little lazy. Blanchfield step back, long to net for Todd Blanchfield. The Adelaide 36 is believe it or not, they leading the league in three-point field goal percentage, and there's an easy one, relatively easy one for Mitch Norton. Haven't lost confidence at all and come out and the first three attempts have been from the three-point line. Johnson, cross-court, picked off by Blansford, and now it'll be the Wildcats. Travis, great pass in rhythm. Would have been tough for him early, especially mentally. He started the year in the four spot, and every time he made a mistake, he was benched. Great pass from Moody, good cut from Mitch Norton, and didn't often come back home. He's not, uh, hasn't been all that involved in this contest. Only had the... Well, there we see him. Knock down a mid-ranger, but that's only his fifth field goal attempt. Three or five from the... Get him on, Jack! Two on the shot clock, so they're going to have to get to work quick. Great pass! What the Steindl! On the three-point line. They've had 41 field goal attempts. 27 of them have come. And you see Daniel Dillon... For most by Adelaide in, in a 40-minute game is 37. And that was this season when they beat the Wildcats. They were 16 of 37, so they're 43%. They're 24% right now. Has been a little bit more spectacular with some of the intercepts and the way he gets his hands in lanes. And Does it? Oh, good follow by Mooney. That's going to be his double-double. Another one for John Mooney. 22. Lansfield. Travers never loses confidence. Oh. That is a delightful little finger roll, Andrew Gage. Well, that's what I was talking about in these big, big moments. And that was a big moment in the context of this game. Every single available player has scored with the exception of Magnate. Norton, bump, count it. And I like this by Norton. They're backing off, encouraging him. This time, in way off him, he just gets it and Crocker a little bit out, out of position. And that is a really good finish by Norton and pushes the lead back out to mm -hmm. six.